Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac After Rhythm Plus. Couple of smooth sailing sort of runs all happening in a row. You know what? I'm having a good day. Stats could be better here, but I'm having a good day. Oh, you coward! Literally, I was about to say, like, well, I could get the error room, but we might as well go for it. Um, dumb attitude, apparently. Also, I can't move beyond there. Hanged Man, Ace of Clubs. I don't, what's going on with this room, dude? There's a trap. I'm still thinking there might be a way out. There, we gotta try. Ace of Clubs, this. Blow him up, get out. No such luck. Well, okay. Life goes on. I'm having a good day. For one, because I'm having a good day. But secondly, I just remembered. I was thinking. I was like, man, what am I? I thought I was really excited for like a game. I knew it. As soon as I got myself into the corner, I knew it. I was really excited for a game that I thought was coming out, uh, you know, in the future. I'm not going to say this year because I have no idea, but... then I remembered oh, Spelunky 2, dude! That's right, I'm having a good day. Because I remembered Spelunky 2 is a thing that exists. <laughs> and sometimes that's all it takes, dude. You ever get that? You're like, oh, I'm excited about something. What was it again? And then, you know, your subconscious just pops it out in front of you and is like, that's right. I remember now. Anyway, this run is off to a very non-routine start. It's a very polite way to describe it. It was bad luck that took us to the error room. And especially an error room that was just the shop. Things could have been so different if we'd gone to our item rooms. Who cares what we get? Because, But we might have... Uh, bare minimum, we're getting two items. We might have enough money to buy Squeezy, which pretty much guarantees us to deal with the devil down here. And uh, also a tears upgrade. So we, as far as I'm concerned, the opportunity cost of getting that error room right off the bat is high. But, what are you going to do? Alt F4, you know? We should be stoked, I guess. We have an item that could give us an error room in the future. You know, we gotta work a little bit harder to make sure that we're able to get there. This time in a, a temporally appropriate uh, time scale, but it is what it is. We still also have... Uh, we're gonna get the item room on this floor, unless we die. And we're going to get a, uh, a small but not insignificant chance of a deal with the devil. <laughs> Almost screwed myself there. Um, and we've learned a valuable lesson about, you know, undefined, which is only use it if you're comfortable with the risk of possibly getting kicked out of the floor. Um, with maybe little to no benefit happening. I mean, I got a bomb. I get This is just... The damage I'm taking is starting to embarrass me a little bit. But we're also three minutes into the episode having gotten no items. So, here's what you do. You back yourself off. You play it cool. You know, maybe we actually, if we get another key, we might want to lose our golden heart uh, on purpose so that we can actually have the money necessary to uh, buy something from the shop. But we need another key in order to make that prudent. Otherwise, I'd rather just take the... Uh, item room here because I mean we can go to the shop at any time when our keys are better off Please drop a battery charge. I could use to maybe for example get into the shop. Although the error room is Definitely a little bit more interesting Oop. And then work with me here That's working with me. It is Not good enough Good enough more than good enough infestation 2 is beautiful now all we need is something to get us to the point where um, it's possible for us to kill enemies without that first spider. Once we get that first spider, you know, we weaken enemies enough with our spider creation, we're likely to get a lot more uh, and, and get more easier as well. More easily, I guess, but good. I like the battery charge. All is not lost. Don't let one, you know, we, we rolled a, a natural one on the d20 of undefined. Don't let that tell you that, you know, the rest of the run is screwed. This guy is easy. You dodge his shots. 
He uses bombs. The bombs kill himself. All you gotta do is not stand right next to him, and I'm not doing an amazing job of that so far. Love it. He's done, dude. Okay. Didn't beat the odds, and I'm just gonna be honest, didn't deserve to. That's okay. I took damage I'm not happy with. I can see forever. Tears down is horrible. I found pills. Lots of red hearts. Um... I still don't think we necessarily take advantage of this shop uh, just yet. We might wait it out for one more floor. Although, to go to the shop by a spirit heart gives us a better chance of getting the... Uh... Well, we'll definitely peep it now. But it gives us a better chance of getting the... Uh... Deal with the devil on the next floor. So let's peep it right now. And if they teleport me to it, so be it. But I don't want to get teleported to an error room. We could get a big advantage right now. Very nice. Um, and I think we'll just grab this. And grab this, and then go for it. We went to the error room immediately. What's nice is, if we spawn bad enemies, I'm just gonna bolt. Right now, I'm willing to take this time, you know, do some due diligence, get some uh, consumables, potentially. Maybe even get a chest that gives us, like, a real item. Like, these enemies are nothing, uh, nothing special. All these errors... Uh, error rooms, I should say. They seem like new. Like I've never seen these before. I don't know if that's correct, but that's that's how it feels. Okay, I mean, we're gonna uh, do the smart thing and at least try to get a good trinket. And if you give me crystal ball, I mean, that's a great trinket, by the way. If you give me crystal ball, I'll be a very happy man. Maggie's faith is also good, though. Okay, we're gonna blow you up. And you know, I think after all this, we actually did a pretty good job of getting ourselves back on the horse. Infestation 2 is beautiful. We do have one big problem, though. The big problem is who farted. No, the big problem is that tears downgrade. So I wanted to put in a joke. It's been a little while since a joke. I wanted to make sure we had a joke. Uh, the tears down is, is truly horrible. Um, Fair enough. We have good, uh, like, intangibles. But I'd also like to have good tangibles. <laughs> By which, like, sure, okay, we, we get a lot of consumables. And, you know, we got infestation too, which is, is very nice. It's very, very nice. But I would also love to just not have to rely... 100% on that stuff, and instead be able to, you know, kill enemies with my vanilla stats and just firing on them. Um, wonder if uh, Angry Fly works towards BLs above. That's like the the big positive right now that I can see about it. Because I mean, apart from that, it's it's just like a it's like an inverted orbital. I think it's horrible. Circles around enemies, and then also, like, if a shot from an enemy hits them, then the fly turns into, like, a, like a bad third-level cube of meat analog. I don't think it's very good. Maybe it doesn't even, maybe it shoots on occasion? I can't even remember, dude. All I know is, it's bad. It's... Bad. It's bad. This is Faith Hill. Unusable. Okay, here's what you do. Get him going like this. 17 or 18 shots like this, he's done, brother. I want the shop. Another great song, Twisted Sister. I want the shop. Shop. Okay, but like... It's, you know, it's cool. We're having a great time here. But I'd love to go to the shop so that I could get a spirit heart and not have to... So obviously it didn't work out. But now we just gotta, you know, put up, shut up, and nut up. We're on... I think we're on put up right now. We need to perform well. I almost walked into that because I my brain didn't account for the mushroom existing there. Um... Yeah, I think we're in put-up territory. Put-up is when you gotta perform. 
How on earth are we going to beat this boss without getting hit with our current DPS? The answer is obvious, actually. And it's not blowing in the wind, Mr. Bob Dylan. The answer is bombs and good RNG. And the good RNG is just fighting an easy boss. Please. Thank you. Lots of spiders, too. It's not a super hard boss. Keep it up. No! I still have 100% because of my eternal heart. Okay. The greatest eternal heart maybe in Earth's history. Well worth the HP upgrade to at least have a chance of this deal with the devil. Oh my god. And it, I mean, what can you say? Sure, we still got problems. I mean, we could be one-tapped. But just to have the... It, like a certain element of like we could maybe make this run work now is well worth it. The brimstone pickup is, is incredible. We got issues. Maggie's faith is here to save us, hopefully, but... We gotta, we gotta live for a floor first. No champion enemies. No exploding enemies, please. Okay. Immediately an exploding enemy, but I mean, what are you gonna do? We're getting a little late in the game. Some of these enemies are gonna explode. It's just how she goes. The good news is, actually, now that I think about it, this eternal heart um, will probably protect me from one hit. So, at, at the cost of, uh, you know, maybe ruining our ability to accrue HP for a bit, but at the benefit of, you know, keeping this run alive. So there's a huge... I'd say that, in this case, the the benefits justify the, the cost. Just HP. Okay. Fate's Reward. It's kind of similar to HP in that it's uh, an item in the game, The Binding of Isaac. Lots of spiders. You gotta love it. I think that our moments of danger are soon to be behind us. I was really hoping for, like, literally just a single spirit heart, but you know what? Instead of getting a spirit heart for five cents, we got, like, 26 cents for free. So if you look at it on a fiscal level... Crap. Uh, if you look at it on a fiscal level, though, this room was a big win for us. If you look at it on a survival level... Things have gotten a little worse recently, but hey, this is a big one. Come on, you know what you want to give me. You always give me HP. This would be a terrible time for you to start, you all of a sudden you grow conscious. You know what? Here you go, you can take the bean. No thank you, sir. Then, you know what you want to give me. Just give me the freaking blood bag, dude. We both know what we're looking for on this run. I'll play you one more time, because I just... What do I have to do to get you out of that blood bag today? At least we found a way to get one HP back. The lack of spirit arts is, is, is shocking on this run. I'm not complaining, because we've also been saved. <laughs> Multiple times, but... Just one spirit heart would have uh, avoided the need to have been saved in the first place. So here's the thing. We're going to come back up here. I'm going to give you a couple couple plays. I'll give you three plays. Keep us at one and a half. Okay, that's fine. Then we'll teleport. We got to the air room and it's the freaking wafer. Doesn't get any better than that. Um, this is the strangest run, dude. Like, first off, we've been talking about Isaac nonstop for 14 minutes and 30 seconds. That doesn't happen that often. But secondarily, this run has been garbage because of my own mistakes. Um, but is is kind of going to be... A, my lord. It appears to be a relatively easy win, nonetheless, as a result of, like, getting carried. Infestation 2, Brimstone, the Wafer. You look at those items and you go, like, if you lose this run... You gotta quit playing Isaac forever. I... I don't know what to say. 
He got me. He boomed me. Now we're his squad. Various NFL-related memes. Well. All I can really say in my own defense is I think it's hard to measure how much that first uh, error room right off the bat set us back. It's like skipping the first six years of school, you know? The math might not check out on that one, but in my defense, I missed the first six years of school. That's not true. I did six extra years. You know, second grade uh, is a it's a tricky one. That's a joke as well. It was sixth grade. Um, it, it, it just leaves you far enough behind that, you know, things are... Uh, everything for the rest of the run is a little bit tougher as a result. You know, we don't need to get too, uh, you know, precious with the language. I think it's just that simple, you know? It's like going uphill on a bicycle, but being forced to hit the brakes 10% of the way up, you know? It, it, it puts you at a disadvantage. Oh my lord, that was a horrible dodge. Puts you at a disadvantage from that point onwards forever. Also, also I mean, you can just say it. My dodges have been unbelievable. I think I'm getting into self-fulfilling prophecy territory. But also, we got the stopwatch, which is hilarious. <laughs> so, like, I keep accidentally stumbling into uh, the best items that the game has to offer. They haven't even talked about a humbling bundle, but uh, I keep accidentally stumbling into the best items the game has to offer. Um, in spite of really, like, not deserving it at all. But that's the thing, you know, we've had runs in Isaac for sure, where, you know, if if you got rewarded with good items based on the quality of your play, you know, we would say that we got ripped off. We played well and, and got crap. This is like the exact opposite, but hey man, when it happens, I think uh, enjoy it, because it might be a bit till you get there again. But hey, you know, the other thing is, it doesn't have to be bad forever. This could be one of those runs that, you know, it starts bad, in terms of your own personal performance, and then over time, you get to uh, you get a chance to redeem yourself. Hopefully, maybe. Almost, I feel like I owe the game not taking that one, just to make it up to you guys who are probably like, "Why is he getting such good luck?" Well, sometimes you're just lucky, I guess. Uh, so I'll tell you, I don't really want to teleport, but I will. The reason I don't want to teleport is because is I can't see the map. We're going to have a hard time walking back. That's also why I didn't pick up... He got me. That's also why I didn't pick up the key. It's because I'm like, you know, we, we could use that to teleport again if we're lucky enough to find our way back there. Please, a damage upgrade. Don't take it yet. A damage upgrade. No damage upgrade. Dude, KB and Conception is probably a safe bet here, but I'll tell you what, we'll go Guppy's Tail, because, you know, I love Guppy. I don't want to sound like a scholar or anything, but yeah, I would say that Guppy is one of the most valuable items you can get. One of the most valuable uh, transformations you can get, I should say. Dude, I don't, I don't know where we are, so... The Chariot. You know, I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. Um, I, I, I think we should try to get the boss rush because you know, if we've already got people, you know, modestly upset by the fact that we're getting rewarded for being bad, why don't we just take it to the next level and also get like a free, really good item potentially? So I know our boss is like is up and right, but is it left upright or is it just is it directly upright? Oh, our item room. Thank God. I was worried we're going to be bereft of that. You know, is not always a good choice. I think on today's run, we can make some justifications. Let me also tell you. Forget. 
No excuse for that, considering we just got a speed downgrade. <laughs> oh, we did make it to the error room, at least. But we're probably not going to even have the chance to get the boss rush. Just took a little bit too long. But we'll see. Okay, so what I really want to see is good play. You know, on most of the time we get to this point on a run, I'm saying like, oh, I'd like to see a DPS upgrade. And I would. I'd like to see our damage stat specifically rise. But more importantly, let's just play well because I haven't been. So to to be able to put down like a, a quality floor where we can be proud of ourselves and, and our performance, it will be nice. Forget boss rush. Let all the all the materialistic trappings of wealth in Isaac fade away. Focus on the performative aspect of just enjoying the game. Hidden the WASD keys, the feel of the texture of your Corsair keyboard. It's actually a Logitech. I, I, I didn't know I had to look. No, I'm not that worried about gear. I don't have gear fear in real life or, uh, or in Tarkov. You put me on... Uh, an eSports ready machine, I'm going to be just as good as if you put me on a, a Microsoft, you know, aged yellow plastic keyboard from 1996. I got the same set of skills in both circumstances. Low. Who would have thought the brimstone run would be the one where we don't even have a chance to make boss rush? I say, who would have thought skipping an entire floor would slow us down this much? And we definitely were close, but no cigar on boss rush. Which is for the best, I think. Take a little bit more time, explore the floor. Um, everybody walked a dinosaur, you don't need me to say it. You knew what was coming. This would be a great shop to not have greed in as well. It would be a great shop to see chaos, honestly. Well, <laughs> what can I say? When you're good, you're good, dude. Chariot, hanged man, nothing else really worth holding. We might as well check the pill. You know what? On a run like this where you're not doing so hot, it would pay you to give back. You know... Recognize there are those less fortunate, i.e. runs in the future where we might uh, want to be able to have access to something like that. And I'm going to try a, a, the world's most dangerous play. Obviously, we're going to get a deal with the devil. But I'm not going to use uh, Undefined. Let's use it immediately on the next floor. Because this might be a tactical error room. You know, skip some dangerous rooms. Go straight to an error room, go straight to the second secret room, fight the boss right away. I don't get a chance to use on to find that much anymore because they removed the coolest feature um, out of a sense of having to balance the game, I suppose. You, you can't loop the chest anymore. Made the run too easy. The people, after they beat the game, could continue to beat the game. Regardless. It's not that I'm bitter, can't you tell? Please, just DPS. <sighs> Chaos. I did it to myself. Still, I, like the speed upgrade is fine. I definitely think it's not bad. But I, why was I so excited to see Chaos? Now I feel like I betrayed myself. Love it, love to see it. Maybe it's good this is the last run of the day. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Uh, that's fair. We did get a damage upgrade at least. Some, you know, this is like video 9 today. I'm, I'm basically at this point just throwing myself on the mercy of the YouTube courtroom. This is, you know, I thought, you know, let's do three videos of each series today. It really helped me for getting a little bit of personal space for uh, being able to have a big marathon series of recordings next week. And then videos one through eight, I felt like I was in tip-top shape mental condition. 
video nine, I'm like, uh, <laughs> my brain is like, I got no energy up here. Could you eat? Well, like, here's the thing, okay? So, like, I thought uh, maybe after the last episode, I was like, I'm really, uh, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of brain fog. I did work out today, so I was like, oh, maybe, you're, maybe your brain's hungry for some carbohydrates. But the only rich carbohydrate source I had uh, in my home was I had a little bit of, like, cut fruit in my fridge. But it's, like, all citrus. And I got this uh, canker sore in my mouth, the worst canker sore I've ever had in my life. I ate a piece of cantaloupe. That was, you know, next to an orange, and my mouth was like, if you ever do that again, I'm gonna make you pass out. So I, I, I had to go, I had to stay low, unfortunately, on the old glycogen front. So I'm not, I'm just saying I'm the victim here, okay? It is a very strange run, though. I have all these good items, and yet... I'm like, I'm underpowered, and it's very fast, and yet I'm like, well, it, it's been very quick, I guess. We haven't taken much time, um, and yet I'm like, you know, it takes forever to kill enemies. It's a weird one, dude. I don't even know what happens if we use this. I'm assuming it can only take us to secret rooms. If it can only take us to secret rooms like it did right there, then it's probably pretty likely to take us to uh, a room that's closer to the boss than the room we were standing on. What could this be? Would have been cool if that was a full run reroll. You know, a blank slate. I got a blank slate, baby. And I'll write your name. Taylor Swift. What do you mean those aren't the lyrics? Yeah, we got good runs. And you know I didn't earn them. I'm just messing with you at this point. I totally forgot. We have the freaking wafer. Man, we deserve none of this. Oh well. That's what Thanksgiving's for. So write this one down. In October, that's when we celebrate our Thanksgiving in Canada. Born contrarians. Um, I'll be like, hey, thanks for episode, you know. 1387. You really helped me out on that one. We get him? It's a sad situation if you got brimstone, but you still got to use bombs. What do we have? We have 4.22 luck. That's really good. That's a, a, a good time on the chest waiting to happen. I don't even think we should teleport anymore, because, like... First off, I can easily get lost. I can get lost all by my dang self. No. Okay, let's teleport. Good, we'll, we'll try again. <laughs> right? It's, it's a fun curse. Is this, this one is like top of the morning to you, laddies. We got a, we got a fun one coming up. I'm losing. I'm going delirious. Can't believe the... Uh, on top of all the stuff I'm complaining about that I probably shouldn't be complaining about, I can't believe I'm still feeling like the hangover from getting that tears downgrade pill. That's the kind of thing you expect it to affect you uh, in a perceptible way. But not this long. Even now, I'm like... Man, if it weren't for that dang old tears downgrade, <laughs> we would have won state, dude. I know it. I just know it. I still, I, at this point, it's like a sense of duty, but I think we got to go undefined. Just to, it's been with us through, through thick and thin, dude. You're telling me this was not the way. Okay, we'll tell you, let's, let's go to the secret room then. I'm ready. It's right there, huh? Alrighty. You got anything? Haven't been in this room yet. Go ahead. Make my, make my, make my, make my day. Don't hear that one that much anymore. That's, that's, a, that's a rare 
You know, not all those songs from the 2000s and the late 1990s, they didn't all make it to rock radio. And it's for the best, I gotta tell you. Don't hear a Venga Boys jam that much anymore. Only in viral videos where cars are going through, uh, you know, High Street in a small English town. Everybody starts doing the dance along with it. I've seen the video. I'm a connoisseur of the viral, viral videos. Cinematic virality, as we call it. Just keep tossing bombs in there. Look. This, these aren't going to be the fastest time to kills we've ever seen. But we are going to get the dub. As I've, I've taken to calling it. And pretty soon, we're about to get an item injection. That's a, the, the only thing I could ask for is like a modest DPS improvement down there. I firmly promise you, win 10. Oh, it's going to be 10 times more exciting than win 9. We're going to go on a logarithmic scale like decibels. Because this one, even I am frustrated with this one. I'm frustrated with myself. I, I hate the way I don't hate it. Not even a little. Not even at all. Julia Stiles, 10 things I hate about you. Look it up, sweetheart. All right, four question marks. Let's see. Mom's heels, useless, but sure. Mama Mega is actually pretty helpful. Steven, very nice. And the Relic, also very nice. This is a good get. Pretty flies, not bad. Luck up is also good. I mean, we're at six luck now. Most... Uh, Maybe Mama Mega is not going to kill all these rooms dead as soon as we walk in. But it's going to do enough damage that it's going to speed up drastically the time it takes us to do them. Which I think is, uh, you know, really a, a golden gift in and of itself. We should be getting items consistently. Spirit of the Night. Dude, we haven't had this in a long time. I feel, at least. Now, the flies are fine, but I mean, at this point, again. Why make enemies, you know? We should just use teleport. It'll be fun. Yo, you got destroyed. Opened up a portal you got sucked into. Book of Secrets? Showed us the secret rooms we already knew existed. Yo, Mama Mega wasn't just decent. Mama Mega turned out to be incredible. And it is gonna... Honestly, even though it was only with us for about 45 seconds, let's just give this, like, the gold star. It deserves it. Thank you so much for your incredible performance. At least we can end it on something cool. If you're photosensitive, uh, you might want to look away because... Uh, I mean, you can just see the blinking for yourself and then and, and surmise my what I was about to say. I thought these would block all the shots. They definitely do not. Okay, we'll place four more. We'll blow them up. Come on, come on. Just get that one and... Here you I'll do it for you. Fine. I'll do it myself. Three, two, one. You know, it's a good uh, metaphor for the rest of the run. <laughs> Either way... I'm just trying to get Angry Fly to kill it. Whatever, dude. Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it more than I have. If you did, click the like button. It was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. The important thing is nine wins in a row, and I'll see you next time.